Hold on! First it was Titan, and now it's my moons? What if it's back? But what if this is their revenge? Oh, oh no, oh no! Whoa! <sighs> He's back. He's back for revenge, I'm sure of it. After what we did, he... No, 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 no! Listen, when you recruited the rest of our moons, didn't you notice anything strange with Jupiter? I, well, yeah. He thought someone was coming to get revenge on him or something. Revenge? Do you know something about this? I, I did something a few billions of years ago. Well, me and Saturn, actually. Something wrong. I guess. And ever since then, we've kept quiet. But I am afraid that this thing we did, it's coming back for revenge. I, uh, I thought something from my past was coming back. But, guess not. <laughs> I guess we are all going to be alright. New characters! We need to hire more people! Maybe we deserve this, Saturn. For what we did to the fifth giant. Hey! Shh! The others may hear. Oh, good! Maybe it's time everyone knows the truth. There has been a strange gravitational phenomenon out in the Kuiper Belt for a while now. I thought we could check it out. What, like a field trip? Yes, exactly! Could be fun. After all, if the gravitational shift turns out to be meaningful, it could have devastating consequences for the Kuiper Belt. Sorry, what do you mean by devastating? Oh, you know, objects being pushed out of the solar system, new objects forming, destructive asteroid storms. Maybe we could even crash into each other and break apart. I have made mistakes. All of that is in the past, and you know it! Yeah, in the past. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure, Jupiter. No, it's something else! You see, since you are leaving the solar system, I want you to help me with some research! Research? Dude, we don't have time You for... will not regret it! It's regarding a long-lost planet! Wait, what? There is a theory, one not many know of, and it could be totally wrong, but still, it is believed that way past the Kyber Belt, there is one more secret planet in the solar system. We refer to it as Planet X. Are you serious right now? Another planet? Not only a planet, a huge one! Maybe the size of Neptune or Uranus. What? How could something so massive be completely ignored by literally everyone, okay? So how does this relate to your theory? Wait, you don't mean... Indeed, Sharon! The strange gravity effects we felt could be this Planet X! And you want us to find it? Oh yes, pretty please! Let's do it. What? Why? I just... have a feeling. Well, that's not vague at all. Look. Remember when Jupiter said he was afraid that something from his past might return? What if this is it? Planet X? Jupiter? Really? Yes! What do you say? Point is the way, Maki Maki. I just feel like... Like something is finally catching up with me. Catching up? What are you talking about? Listen. I think it's time to tell all of you that I cannot do Saturn. It's eating me alive. Nobody will understand, okay? I... I don't know what to do. Imagine what he'll do to you if he finds out what you did! Okay. I'll think about it. Are you sure we will find this Planet X if we keep moving straight ahead? I don't think we'll need to. Why? Because... I'm starting to feel its gravity. In search of the mysterious Planet X. Hello? Planet X? Are you here? So, so remember how I said Jupiter seemed sketchy? Yeah? I just heard him talk to Saturn about something bad he did many years ago. Jupiter? No way! Big guy's got a giant stick up his core! Yeah, you probably misheard them, Mars. I know what I heard. We've probably lost track of where Planet X is! Gravity... 
is that? Hey, who are you? I've spent millions of years alone. Maybe I had a name and forgot. Maybe I simply never had one. But you can call me Planet X. Mysterious and forgotten planet. We found Planet X. You give yourselves too much credit. Was it you that found me? Or were you simply pulled by my gravity? Uh, a bit of both? I guess that's fair. Anyways, I have one question for you, Ganymede and Europa. Wait, you know who we are? You are the two of the Galilean moons. Jupiter's moons. Have you been spying on us? Oh, don't take it personally. I've been far away from the solar system for a long time. I basically spent all my time watching and listening to everything that's been going on there. Wait, really? That's kind of creepy. Enough! Answer my question! But you haven't asked anything. Oh, right. Uh, are you on the side of Jupiter? What? The side of Jupiter? What does that even mean? Just answer. Yes or no. Not until you explain- Yes, we are on his side. What? <laughs> I knew it. He's such a weirdo. Jupiter? Anything you'd like to say? Ah, uh, come on, Jupiter. Say whatever it is you're holding in. Jupiter? Is there something you are not telling us? Hey, Planet X, come back! Ugh, just when we had him. Do you think it was wrong to say we're on Jupiter's side? I don't know, but Planet X left us after you said it. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Ah! Are you eavesdropping on us? Relax, I have good hearing, and it's empty out here. Follow me, I'll take you to my hideout. ...of the mysterious Planet X. Planet X? Is that some solar system urban legend? Indeed! He's said to orbit the outer edges of the solar system, a planet nobody has ever seen. Can you imagine the glory that awaits whoever sees it first? Time to be brave, Proteus! You're a moon! You're a moon! We don't care much about glory. Oh, we are just looking for our friends, but if we find Planet X, we may find them! So let's ah. Welcome to my hideout. Wait, that's it? Seriously? Dude, there's nothing here! Maybe for you there's nothing. But for me, this place has the only thing I have. Which is... The view. Wow. It's so... tiny. For billions of years, this has been the only view I've had. The home I once had, the home I lost because of him. Who? Your planet. Jupiter? Pfft. Please! Jupiter wouldn't hurt a fly! Wait, let's hear him out, Ganymede. You wanna hear this nut job who's lost his core? <laughs> you do you, babe. I'm out. I guess you don't know about the great tech. The what? <laughs> You've orbited around Jupiter for so long, yet you don't know anything. Tell us. Tell us everything you know. Then listen, and listen well. Because this story started billions of years ago. Okay, let's see. A hypothetical ice planet located beyond the copper belt, Pluto was actually discovered thanks to astronomers searching for this planet. Hmm, that one doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, we give up. Just tell us. Uh, let's just move on. Hey, uh, you're Saturn, right? Y yes and you are? Oh, uh, I don't have a name. I like to go by the name of X. Or Planet X. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, X. Hey, Saturn. This ice giant I've never met. He calls himself Planet X. Hey there, you must be Jupiter. Nice to meet cool. My friend is at the other side of the belt. Uh, can I? Jupiter. Gas giants like us can't sustain more. Well, you gotta give him props for trying, though. Who are you again? Yeah, who's that planet again? Oh, that's Planet X. 
It's a hypothetical ice giant. How come I have never heard of it? Well, this part of the story deals with a few theories regarding the formation of the solar system as we know it today. One is the Grand Tack, and the other is the existence of a fifth giant, Planet X. I... I told you. I'm Planet X. Well, Planet X, you're being incredibly annoying. Yeah, sorry, but you're being kinda rude. I'm being rude? Seriously? <laughs> Give me a break. The sun is distracted. So? I can cross to your side. Or you Guys, no! Stop! Jupiter, you can't do this! Planet Jupiter. Yeah, you did. And there's no way the sun won't find out. The sun? Yep. You're a planet killer, Jupiter. No way back for you now. Hey, cut it out, Planet X. You're not helping. Cut it out. I told you not to do this. I told you, and you two just ignored me and treated me like I was lesser than you. I guess what comes around goes around. I... I wasn't trying to... Who cares what you were trying to do? You did this. <laughs> Oh, now you're done for. Hey, son. Wh what is it? I think you should ask Jupiter about it. Come on, Jupiter. Just say it. To stop them. The, the rock orbits. What? Hey, that's not what. Soon. Son, he's that's not. Right. You're disgusting, Jupiter. That's enough, X. And you two for offending him. You two are just horrible. What would you have us do? Confess. Tell the son the truth. He will hate me. We will. I don't know what he'll do to me. Whatever he does, it's his right. We all live in his solar system. So stop acting all sorry and confess. But don't think for a second you'll keep this a secret. Please, I I need to think. I'll take your time. But if you don't tell the son, then I will do it. He's so unlikable. And he's right. Planet X? Hey, you two. Uh, can we not do this now? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I inconveniencing you with my guilt tripping? X, I, I need time to think of how I'm gonna explain this to the sun. Really? Because it seems like you're just stalling for time until I move on from this. I'm not! I promise! Enough, Jupiter, okay? I warned you about this. Hey! You stop! Wait! It's not gonna work, Jupiter. X, there are new rocky planets forming past this point. Let's not make things messier. Ha! Guess who decided to care about the other planets? Well, I do care, and I feel horrible. Let's not both make the same mistake. Let me go. I'm just getting a bit closer to talk to the sun. Please! Please what? Oh, don't play the hero now. You're stopping me to save your own surface. I'm telling the sun. Saturn! On it! Not being silenced. Ah! X. Guys, help. <laughs> Wait, where's X? I don't see him. He's... he's gone, son. Gone? What do you mean, gone? He... he wanted to explore other solar systems, and he left. Good riddance, Planet X! Just leave my solar system! We don't need you! We have everything we need here! From now and with Planet X now in the empty void of space past the Kuiper Belt, a generation of rocky planets would emerge. But that's a story for another day.